Welcome back, it's day four. Today is all about success. One of my favorite topics, talking about what needs to get done. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do to help you walk the path to experience a successful life? It's all about walking the path together, right? You could walk it alone, but how fast are you gonna get to where you wanna go? Without other people's help, it's extremely difficult. We talked about this yesterday, about who do you know? Who do you need to learn from? What do you need to learn from? Now listen, I'm happy to hold your hand down this path to success, but you have to decide. What are you willing to do? What are you willing not to do? And that's the question I wanna ask you today is, what are the action steps that you have to take to get to your clarity, to live the life by design that you want? I'm gonna give you a little bit of story here. So when I first got into real estate in 2009, I was completely broke. Like literally, I had two car repossessed. I think I might've had $500 in my bank account and I had just been fired from my job. That's a whole nother story, but let's just talk about being broke for a second. So I had all this knowledge, I had this experience, but life just happens. We make choices, right? And we find ourselves in these predicaments because of life, because of our choices. So luckily I had some great friends people that helped me out. I asked for help. I decided to move from Atlanta, Georgia back to Cape Coral and my best friend gave me six months on an air mattress. Six months. Now, he was my best friend and I knew I had six months, but I also knew I didn't wanna go past that six months. So I made a decision, what am I gonna do? Now, I wanted to do something I'd never done before and so it just so happened that his dad had been in the real estate business for over 30 years, so I was like, Randy was like, I wanna work, do you got anything for me? And he was like, are you willing to make 12 bucks an hour cold calling? I was like, sure, I, I wanted to work, I loved working. After about a few weeks, I fell in love with real estate. Now I'm not telling you, you need to go out and cold call, I'm just telling you my story. I fell in love with it, it was amazing, and it was so funny, people were like, you're getting into real estate? It was literally the bottom of the real estate market here, the average home was $75,000, but I didn't care. I actually didn't know any better. Sometimes it's good that you don't know what you don't know, just because then you don't have this pre-misconception. You don't have all of these thoughts rolling in your mind. Like, I was just like, you know what, I'm a champ. We're gonna make this happen. After I fell in love with it, in my first six months, I closed 12 transactions, which is really great in your first six months in real estate. I got an apartment. I found an apartment for $500. I got a car. Like, literally things were going but I realized that I wanted to grow. We talked about growth before. I wanted to succeed. I wanted to take this to a whole nother level. I had a dream at the time that I wanted to make six figures a year. Like that was the big number for me back then. That was almost 13 years ago. That was the big number for me back then that I wanted to hit selling $75,000 houses. They gotta sell a lot of those in order to hit that number. And so I started doing research because I was like, you know what? I'm like, this cold calling thing is cool, but I don't want to cold call for the rest of my life, right? Like that requires me by myself, like taking a lot of time, just calling. So I knew there was this thing called the internet and that there was other agents out there utilizing the internet to create relationships, which we're going to talk about in the next couple of videos. I had a passion for creating, building and maintaining relationships. Stick with me for the next couple of days and I'm going to be giving you some magic about relationships and tracking. So I decided to do some research. So I did some research and, and I'm definitely an intuition kind of guy. Like I just, I do the research, I look, I'm like, what feels good? Like, what am I attracted to? And I couldn't find anybody. I was literally looking up, you know, advertising, marketing, website design, and it was just like, <laughs> I mean, just back, back and forth. And then I ran into Internet Services Group of Florida, ISGFL. And actually, it's funny because my man Charlie is actually sitting behind the camera right now while we're doing this. I've been working with Charlie Caldwell too. I like to add the two because that's in his name. Mr. Two, because I've been working with him for 12 years. Like this is somebody that I originally went to for help when I wanted to grow my business. Do you see, I'm teaching you the things that I do, that I did. I find experts that I like, I find experts that have what I want, that are gonna help me get to where I want, and I follow them. So here's the message that I wanna give you. One of the first tips that Charlie gave me, now we built a website, we started small, like literally he was like, okay, where do we need to start? I was like, 500 bucks a month. We started at 500 bucks. 
I'm not even gonna tell you what we got to at some point, but he gave me a tip. And I said, what's working right now? And he's like, you gotta use this thing called Trulia. Trulia is the place to be. That's where the agents are. And I was like, okay. So you're gonna learn really quickly that I'm one of the type of people that if I trust somebody and you tell me what to do, I go do it. Seriously, I go do it. And I do it consistently until it works. So he gave me all of these things. Now, just so you know, Zillow bought Trulia. It's not the same as it was back then. This was 12 years ago. But he gave me the algorithms. He said, this is what I want you to do. You need to invest time every single day on Trulia. Add massive value. Add value. Answer questions. Put yourself out there. Create content. We created content. We added value. For a year and a half, I did it every single day. Remember I talked about getting up early in the morning? This was one of the things I would do early in the morning was add value on Trulia. So fast forward to 18 months after starting that, I was creating almost 90 leads a month and I was earning, gosh, we were doing over 15 million in sales at that time. The average home price was like $175,000. Like, that was a lot of homes. It was absolutely incredible. That's the value of finding mentorship. That's the value of paying somebody to give you advice because it's only good, it's only worth what you're willing to pay for it. See, here's something else that I wanna suggest to you and I wanna make sure you know, like, free stuff's cool, right? Like, who doesn't like free stuff? But here's the thing is that you get what you pay for. I don't care what anyone says, you get what you pay for. And it's not necessarily that it's the content you're paying for, it's the mindset you're paying for. You're basically saying to yourself that this is worth nothing to me. There's something that happens when you write that check. There's something that happens when you invest in yourself is that now you've committed and you've also given that energy out into the universe that says, I'm willing to do what it takes. I'm willing to invest in myself. What's it going to take for you? Where do you need to invest? Where do you need to take action? I have a challenge for you. This is a beautiful challenge to really kind of help you figure out what are the priorities. So first, who do you need to, where do you need to invest? Now, obviously, we have a fantastic community that we would love for you to be a part of. So you have a couple options, right? The first option is, is that you could join the entrepreneur's table. Just click below, join us, and let's get started. Let's make some magic. Let's build some big things together. The other challenge that I wanna give you is that there's four questions that I use in every accountability group. See, success is about accountability. Right? It's like staying accountable to yourself and understanding what are the things that need to be done every day and continuing to ask these four questions. One, what was your biggest success this week? Seriously, like, what can you celebrate? We want to celebrate the small wins. I want you to enjoy the path. I want you to enjoy your life. This is not always going to be like, I don't want it to be this painstaking, grudging, like grudging through the mud. I mean, it needs to be somewhat fun. You need to enjoy it, but you also need to see that there is growth, even if it's small, and celebrate that growth because, again, you're training yourself for that. One, what's your biggest success? Two, what is your biggest challenge right now in your life? Because I can guarantee that that big challenge is affecting every other area, every single area. How you do one thing is how you do everything. We're going to talk about this later. And so when you look at your life every single week, and you start facing these challenges head on, attacking them, because what happens most of the time? They add up, they add up, challenge, 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 and then it explodes. We don't want your life exploding. We don't want you to get to the point that it's so bad that you don't have a choice. I've been there. Man, I just got chills thinking about it. I've lived in a closet before. I've had two cars repossessed. I've been kicked out of houses. I've been broken up with like, man, I got the stories too, but I didn't let those stories define me. I learned from those stories. I became more from those stories and I faced the challenges. I faced the truth. Oh man, we got, I just went through like, we got five more days or six more days left and we're gonna be talking about truth, vulnerability, action. I mean, it's gonna be awesome. But here's the last two questions. What are you willing to start doing? And what are you willing to stop doing 
in order to create your vision, in order to hit your targets, in order to live the life by design, in order to continue the path to experience a successful life. What are you willing to start doing? What are you willing to stop doing? Here's your success work. One, what are the priorities? What are the three to five things that absolutely have to happen for you to take the next step, for you to celebrate, for you to have and feel successful? Three to five steps. What are you willing to start doing? What are you willing to stop doing? Do you notice I'm really careful with my words nowadays because your words are powerful. And the question of willing is really important because if you're not willing to do it, you're not going to do it. And I'm not going to set you up for failure. We're going to set you up for success. So even if you're just willing to get started, right? If you're overweight or you want to be healthier and you're afraid to go to the gym, you're afraid to get to go all in on that, can you just take a walk? Can you just go outside and take a walk for 10 minutes? And then the next week, walk for 20 minutes. And then the next week, walk for an hour. I don't know what that is for you. But really diving deep on what are you willing to start and stop doing. Here's one other, one other thought for you. The willing to stop doing. So what I have personally found is that if you want to continue to grow, there's this give and take. If you want to start doing something, you're probably going to have to sacrifice something else. There's a, there's a, a trade-off here. So you got to be thinking about what am I willing to sacrifice? Six months into real estate, um, I was going through some really powerful growth. So there's a lot of stories involved in my real estate career over 12 years. I had smoked cigarettes from probably the age of 13 or 14 all the way until I was 30. And when I was 30, I was smoking one to three packs a day. And when I looked at my life and I looked at the financial aspect of my life, I looked at the physical energy aspect of my life, like I wanted to grow. I was starting to make money. I, I wasn't feeling sad anymore. And so I made a declaration. I was like, you know what? Everyone that I'm following, none of them smoke cigarettes. And I was like, I, I know that this is not good for me. I know that I don't breathe well. And I was starting to work out and I was like, this doesn't, this isn't congruent, right? This isn't congruent with living the life that I want. And so I made a decision. I made a decision that if I was going to start succeeding more, if I was going to be a leader, right? Here's the other thing is role modeling. Find somebody that is a role model. If I was going to teach people and I was a smoker and they didn't believe in smoking, how could I teach them? Why would they believe in me? So I made a declaration. I stood up one day at a meeting, at a real estate meeting that we had, and I literally took the pack of cigarettes and the lighter out of my pocket. I smashed it all dramatically on the, on the table. And I said, I'm not doing this ever again. I quit today. Now there was a couple other reasons. Here's the, what I added to that to make it so powerful is that six months in, it's so funny. People are funny, aren't they? Like you have a little bit of success and they're like, oh, beginner's luck. Oh, you know what? Like you'll never do it again. Or, I mean, I don't even remember the things that I said, but it was funny. Like people were doubting my skills like around me. And it was funny. My first goal, I was on a team. My first goal was to be number one on that team. I did it in 12 months. Then the next goal was to be number one somewhere else. But I used the power and this was for me. This wasn't for anyone else, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to prove that I can do anything. I'm going to prove that I'm going to be impeccable with my word. I'm going to prove that if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. And that I'm not a one trick pony that it's not, I just got lucky because I make a bunch of calls. Like I worked my ass off back then. Like I still work my ass off, but I, you cold call for eight hours a day. You're working your ass off, but I made a declaration and guess what? I have not touched a cigarette since that day. I barely even think about it. But here's the thing is that I could have, I could have gone against my word. I could have still decided to smoke and be like, oh, I'm human, but I didn't because I was willing and I was able just like you, you're able to reach any level of success that you want, but it's going to take work. It's going to take being uncomfortable. It's going to be take facing your fears. It's going to take sacrifice. Decide today, what are you willing to start doing and what are you willing to stop doing to become the person that lives the life that you chose to get the things 
that you truly want. And remember, who is just as important as how, when, where, what? Who's gonna help you? Who's gonna guide you? Who's gonna hold your hand? Who are you gonna come to when you have questions? Who are you gonna come to when you need accountability? Who are you gonna come to when things are not going the way that you thought? Who are you gonna come to when you need help? I'd be happy to help you. Welcome to the Entrepreneur's Table, where we make things happen. We help people just like you on the path to success. I look forward to seeing you in the Entrepreneur's Table. Just apply below, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Sending you lots of love.